Hello everyone, welcome back to Blanky's Creations. Today we're making this candle holder and candle DIY using the cracked marbles that we DIY'd in the previous video. I will put the link in the comment area down below for you guys. I hope you guys stick around to the end to see both DIYs and if you haven't subscribed already please do so like and comment on this video let me know what you think and so let's get this video started the supplies will be these three Dollar Tree Angels some contact paper or gift wrapping paper of your choice a picture frame like this or the round or square one whichever one you choose a mirror round or square one of these flower vases from the Dollar Tree or Family Dollar and the cracked marbles that we made previously you will need something to write with pen or pencil you will need strong adhesive and a pair of good cutting scissors and what I did was I already did it off camera but I took the strong adhesive I put it in the corner of each of the wings and I glued them together giving it 24 hour drying time once that is done we're going to put it to the side and we're going to take the picture frame we're going to remove the backing and taking the insert that comes inside of it we're going to trace it on our gift wrapping paper or contact paper this is our template so that we cut out the exact same shape and size that's going to go back into that picture frame I'm going to remove the table stand that comes attached to that picture frame insert and I'm going to also remove that little loop that it comes with so that you can hang it up on the wall then I'm going to put the insert back in the picture frame I don't glue it to the picture frame or anything here I'm taking my cracked marbles and I'm going to hot glue them at the bottom of that picture frame and I did a few of them I spaced them out evenly on both sides once I'm done hot gluing the marbles to the bottom I am now going to flip that picture frame over and I am just checking to make sure where I'm going to glue the angels on like to make sure that they're centered so once I do that carefully I take the angels I flip them over I put the strong adhesive on the bottom of them first before I use the hot glue and then I'm going to use the hot glue on the frame and I'm going to place my angels on top of the frame after I'm done doing that I'm going to give it some bonding time so that it sticks together while the glue bonds those pieces together we're going to take our strong adhesive and our cracked marbles I am going to take a dab of strong adhesive I'm going to glue some marbles together forming a straight line on mine I decided that at the end I wanted a little curb I made mine as long as many as that vase right there needed and now I'm taking just three marbles I'm using the strong adhesive once again and I'm just going to glue three marbles on the bottom of that vase which is going to actually become the top of my vase just to let you guys know I did give all of these pieces drying time in between each coat and each step that I made I did this because since it's strong adhesive and glass it does need drying time now using the strong adhesive I am going to put a dab a generous dab on each of those marbles and then I'm going to place 
my mirror on top. Then I take a candlestick and I place it on top so that it could weigh it down while it dries. By now, what you should have is something that looks like this. Here, I had not glued the marbles inside the vase. So after careful consideration, I did use a dab of strong adhesive and I glued it inside the vase. However, the vase is not glued to the picture frame. So I can interchange this if I should decide to use the angels for something else. Now I take the cracked marbles and I glue them on top of the picture frame. Like from 12 to 6, from 3 to 9 like that making sure that I have them evenly spaced out throughout the mirror. While those pieces are drying, we're going to DIY our candle for our candle holder and you will need one of these type of candles from the Dollar Tree. You will need some acrylic metallic pearl white paints, a brush, I created some pink pearlesque paint and I'm going to use both colors on my candle. What I did first was apply a thin coat of the pearl white all over the candle and I let that dry. Then using the pink that I created, I gave it a thin coat on the bottom section, dabbing it all the way around and then I let that get dry. Then I went into my stash of art supplies. I took out some decorative trim that I purchased from Hobby Lobby, some butterflies, some Dollar Tree gems. And what I am going to do is I'm going to use these things to decorate the candle. I don't know if you guys will have the same stuff I know that you might be able to find some of these things, either the Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby. So the way that you decorate your candle can be different than mine. I used that pretty Hobby Lobby bridal trim that I purchased and I glued it all the way around the candle. Here I'm taking this pearl wire and I already shaped it into a heart. Now I'm going to use strong adhesive to glue it to the candle. I purchased this pearl wire from the Dollar Tree years ago when Dollar Tree first came out. Here I'm taking some of these Jot Butterfly stickers. I remove the little sticker from the back and I fold the wings inward so that it looks like it's flying and then using a dab of strong adhesive I'm going to glue two in the middle of the heart. Once we allow this to dry, we have our completed DIY.
And here is the finished DIYs put together and displayed. Around the mirror edge, I used some washi tape that I cut into pieces. And I purchased that washi tape from Walmart. I put it at the edge of the vase also. And I used some crystal garland that I purchased from Amazon around the bottom of the mirror. So this is it for this video. I hope all of you liked the video. Leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that notification button so that YouTube will notify you every time I upload a brand new video. As for the cracked marbles, let me know if you guys like how I use them. If you guys would use them in a DIY such as this. Or if you, ha if you have any ideas on how to use them in an upcoming video. If you have any suggestions, leave them for me in the comment area down below. I want to say thank you once again. And I hope all of you have a blessed night. And I will see you in the next DIY.